If you're doing something massive, something that you've never done before, you don't know what you're doing. That is where a mentor comes in. The mentor's gonna teach you, they're gonna guide you. They've done what you're hoping to do. Of course, the question we all have though is how do you find that mentor? You are aiming high enough, you have big plans, you wanna do big things and you don't know how it's gonna happen. I've been a part of peer mentoring groups like masterminds, I've been a part of formal mentorship programs and I've been a mentor myself. And to make this work, to make this relationship really work, you need a few key things. Here is the most important thing. First, recognize that mentorship can come from anywhere. Yes, it would be fantastic if I could sit down with one of my heroes every month and have a two or three hour conversation with them. And, and that's what we think of when we think of mentoring. We think of getting together with someone, meeting, talking about stuff and working through things. What if you're alone? What if you don't have the connections? How do you find these people? Mentorship doesn't have to be sitting down with someone and having a conversation. It can be by email or through video. It can be by finding the right people who inspire you through podcasts that you learn a lot from and that raise you to higher standards. It can be through peer mentorship. As I mentioned, you're working with someone who has different experience in a different industry. Yeah, they haven't gone down your path, but they've done other great things and they'll provide a different perspective. But keep in mind that person who's a few years ahead of you is a few years ahead of you. They may not even be in the industry. They might not be building the same type of company. They built it the way it was built 10 years ago. You're building a company today, so you can learn some things, but there are also a lot of nuances and differences. Find mentorship wherever you can find it. Yes, ideally you would find that hero, sit down with them and do it that way. You can't do that, go to YouTube, go to podcasts, do whatever you need to do to not allow something like distance or access to be the excuse that keeps you from growing and building and becoming who you need to be today, tomorrow, and this week. You can do this right now. Second, don't ask people to be your mentor in the very first sentence of the very first thing you do. When you're looking for a mentor, you are gonna show up, people do this to me, they do it to all kinds of people. They say, will you be my mentor? And that's like marrying someone like before even the first date. That's a huge commitment. I don't know anything about you. Ask for a 10 minute conversation. Can I jump on a call with you? I have one question. See how it feels, see how it goes. Ask for a cup of coffee. Whatever you need to do to get that first connection. Here's a really weird story. This isn't, you know, maybe the type of mentorship you're thinking about, but I have a 1974 Austin Mini. I bought this Austin Mini when I was 17. Over the years, I've been rebuilding it and rebuilding it and trying to find parts from England and all this stuff. And ultimately, I couldn't figure out how these few parts went together. And no matter the research I did, I couldn't find it. Flipping through a magazine one day and guess what? The exact thing I'm trying to figure out is sitting right there in the magazine. It's a Q&A, it's an article. People write in and this expert on minis answers the questions and I see his name. So I Google his name, I find his email, I reach out and say, hey, I'm in Canada. No one in Canada knows anything about minis. No one seems to have the answer that you have seemed to answer. Can I ask you a few questions? I am willing to pay you. And he said, no problem. People ask me the questions all the time. Don't worry about it. And I said, fantastic. I don't want to take advantage of you, but here are the five questions I have. And I just hit him with these questions and he so gracefully took the time to answer all my questions. I got the mentorship I needed exactly in that moment. And so that was a great gift he gave me. But I didn't start out by saying, will you be my mentor? I started out by saying, can I ask you a few questions? So don't try to ask for the mentorship right away. Start the relationship and see where it goes. Third, what is the mentor protege relationship look like in what you're doing? So the times that I see mentorship not working is when the protege or the mentee or whatever you want to call it, you show up and don't come prepared, right? It's your job to drive this. It is not the mentor's job to drive this. It's not their job to schedule this. It's yours. It's your job to show up prepared. In that meeting, every two weeks, once a month, once a quarter, whatever it is, you show up and give them an update. Here's the advice you gave me, because they may not remember, and here's how I implemented it. And here's the thing I wanna talk to you about this month. Give them the topic, right? I wanna ask you a question about financing. Can we talk about this? But don't show up and expect them to ask you questions. They are not a consultant. If the mentor sees you ask questions, you're, you're unsure, you're scared, but you're not doing anything and you're not implementing anything, that relationship is not gonna last. Their job is to provide you uh, with time and attention and insight. If you're not doing the work, they're gonna give up. You are a waste of time. And the last little sub point in this is, it is not their job to keep you accountable. They're the person who provides wisdom and guidance based on the questions you bring them. They try to do what they can to help you. Mentorship, you get out of it what you put into it. And if they love you, they may check in and say, how's this going? But 
even that is a bonus. And so when I hear people complaining about relationships on either side of this, it's usually because the protege, the mentee, whatever you wanna call it, the you, isn't doing any of this stuff. Recognize that a mentor relationship will only last for a closed amount of time. If I'm a protege with a mentor in a formal program, I was in a program for eight months, great window of time. Enough time for them to get to know me, enough time for me to address some issues with them, but not so much time that it became a chore, it became lazy, we started missing meetings or whatever it is. Recognize that your mentor will help you in this window of time and then you will need to go off and find a different mentor because this is not a social outing. This is a time for us to be able to focus and work through the things that I need to work through to be able to make the stuff happen. Now you might be asking, how do I find them? If, if I go out and say like, hey, I would really love to connect to a CFO, right? I can put that out to my friends and my family and my social networks. I would love to connect to a CFO. Are they the right CFO? Are they here? Are they there? It doesn't matter. Because if I met with CFO number one, chances are CFO one knows other CFOs. And I can say, thank you so much for meeting with me. I have this one question for you. I'm actually looking for like a mentor who's working as a CFO in you know a $30 million company. So do you happen to know anyone who fits this category, blah, 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 I'd love to connect with them for a cup of coffee. That's how you can do it. Louie on my team, my COO, you know how hard it is to find a mentor for COOs, right? You're an entrepreneur, it's easy. You know how hard it is to find a COO mentor? Now there's groups like COO Alliance or other things, but I'm just talking about someone who's willing to meet with you. And so I reached out to my social network, I reached out to five different people, and I said, hey, I got a bit of a challenge for you and a bit of an ask. My new COO at my company is looking to connect with someone to have a conversation about running a business that's a little bit ahead of ours. It's not a big ask, I'm not asking for much. One hour of their time for a cup of coffee just so they can connect. We had one person who was able to really put forward a great name at their company and it was really hard to schedule the first time. Louis finally be, is able to meet her and he comes back and he is just like on fire. He is so fired up. Like the conversation they had, she was super fired up. They agreed by the end of the meeting, like we have to do this more often. Like we have to do this once a quarter. The connection was there. They're both trying to build similar things. You know, she's in an organization that's a few years ahead of us, that's a little bit bigger than us, but his fresh take on this role is giving her insight that she hadn't even thought about. So there's a great connection there, right? Is it peer mentorship? Is it a mentee-mentor relationship? I, I don't know. But the point is that we were able to reach out and find someone, we were able to make a quick connection, we were finally able to schedule the coffee, and then Louis took it from there. So it seems super messy, but that's the best way to find a great mentor. Look at programs if you want, reach out to lots of people, whatever it takes. It's all about an ask. But in the meantime, Find your mentor on YouTube. Find your podcast mentor. Do what you need to do to surround yourself with extraordinary people today. Hello. I look shaggy though, let me tell you. I need to shave. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> if growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.